Glenda, what the heck is it doing now? I just, just took care of that yesterday. Are you pulling my leg, Jimmy? It doesn't look like you cleaned it in four months. The glass is pitch black. And the flame, the flame is so lazy. And it's just like, I don't even know. Go take care of it. Don't be a Jimmy. Clean your pellet stove. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I, I do have a lot of fun sitting up here talking to myself. I, I just wanted to touch base um, with a common issue that we were running into past couple months. Uh, Mike was saying uh, on service calls, uh, he was regu regularly getting uh, kind of the same issue where uh, black glass and improper burn quality of the pellet fuel. With improper burn, you're losing efficiency on your pellet heat. And a way to accommodate for that and avoid uh, losing that efficiency is to properly clean out your stove as well as your burn pot, which I have here. Every stove has a burn pot. Uh, what happens is the pellets, they get auger fed uh, down from the hopper into the burn pot. And you can see out back here, there's a bigger hole. That's where your igniter goes through and lights uh, your pellet fuel. A lot of folks don't know that all these small individual holes need to be kept clean at all times, whether it's uh, daily, weekly, or monthly. It kind of also depends on the pellet fuel that you're burning. But I can promise you, if you keep these individual burn holes uh, opened up, you'll have the proper air ratio to your pellet fuel and allow for a good high quality burn of your pellets. Now, don't be shy with cleaning out your burn pot depending on how thick the residue is inside, you can get away with probably just a vacuum cleaner or taking it out and just kind of slamming it down on outside on like your driveway to clean the, the uh, individual holes out. Also, um, I mean, I've looked over my shoulder before and I've seen uh, Randon cleaning out the shop pellet stove and he's got a 1 8 drill bit in uh, Milwaukee powered into the thing. And I'm like, Randon, the heck is going on in there and he's uh he's, he's drilling out the individual holes because they had gotten so hard it was almost like tar and he couldn't punch them through with anything else so he's over there with his milwaukee just as happy as can be drilling out these little holes but i tell you, you put the burn pot back in lift the stove right up and she was good to go for a good week so the moral of the story don't be a jimmy keep your burn pot clean and you'll see a vast improvement with how your pellet stove is running, and not to mention a very happy household. Thanks guys, have a great weekend.